Red Shengdis. He probably had more confidence in, than anyone. He's probably responsible for me winning as many ball games as I did. Red would leave me in there, regardless of whether the score was 20 to nothing. He figured that I would hold him and we'd get 21. As a matter of fact, <laughs> he's responsible for me losing 170 ball games or so. <laughs> One writer asked me a few days ago, what did I want to be remembered as? And I thought about it, and I said that I want to be remembered as a person, a competitor that gave 100% every time I went out on the field. Sometimes I wasn't too good, but nobody could accuse me of cheating them out of what they paid to see. Again, I would like to thank everybody who came here to help make this a special day who made an effort to make my life a pleasure. Thank you. You know, the dream of every professional athlete is to leave his mark upon his chosen sports. The desire of every professional athlete is to blaze a trail that is so long and wide that it would take a person to perform at a Hall of Fame level just to measure up. The Hall of Fame has been described by many as a museum for greatness. It's also been described as a place where those players who step into the pressure of the moment and emerged as heroes and that their feet transcend their own career and to this day those feet still remains the standards by which the game is played. And I'm proud today to be a part of it. And last but not least, I think came, coming from St. Louis, there had to be something like 110, 120 more from St. Louis. Hello. Thank you. You know, in closing, as I listen to and watch big league players still pounding those drums of Major League Baseball with the full joy that knows no age, it is rewarding to know and a living testament to the popularity of baseball that the Hall of Fame members here today had a big hand in how those drums are sounding today. As I reflect back and at the same time take a look at the present and the future, one thing is certainly true. Life does not often provide opportunity for a person to make a clean choice. But today, by being inducted into Baseball Hall of Fame has allowed me to take the low points of my career and turn them into the high points of a lifetime. My induction also has allowed me to create a new personal format for myself. And now I feel proud to take my seat among the greatest players ever to play Major League Baseball. Thank you. I have the number one job in baseball. Not the number one job in broadcasting, but the number one job in baseball. I don't want to be belligerent about it, but I kind of think, Mr. Steinbrenner and others, that St. Louis is not only the heartland of America, but the best baseball city in the United States. <laughs> Boo me if you want. Go ahead. That's what baseball is all about. If you've never been there, there's no way to tell you what you're missing. Such a beautiful sport with no politics involved, no color, no class. Only as a youngster can you play, and as a pro, can you win. The game has kept me young, involved, and excited. And to be up here with the gems of baseball, and this is like for you people, I'm sure, looking at some diamonds in the front window of a jewelry store. For me to be standing up here is a thrill and a joy which I'll never forget. Even though I've been doing it for so long, you know what I miss? 
I miss not being with my ball club and not being involved in that doubleheader today. So when I am able to digest what has transpired here this weekend and Tuesday night walk up into the booth, have the best seat in the house and broadcast for a team which has a pretty fair chance of winning this year, I want the Cardinal fans to know when they hear me that I am humble, happy, and very grateful. Thank you. I'm very happy to be joining these great men in the Baseball Hall of Fame. I've had ties with all of them. I managed Johnny in a couple of All-Star games, and I knew he would become one of the game's great catchers. As a World Series opposing manager, Carl's talents were painfully evident. Al was one of the best umpires. I always appreciated his fair judgment, and I'm glad we're still friends. I have to mention Harry, because we did come up together. He is a broadcaster, me as a player. And we got together back there in St. Louis, that great city, baseball city of St. Louis. Harry, we're still going strong. I admire all these men, and I'm thrilled to be joining them in receiving baseball's highest honor, especially on the occasion of the Hall of Fame's 50th anniversary. Baseball's been my whole life. 47 years ago, my friends, Joe Linneman, Joe Hockey and myself hitched hike a ride on a milk truck from Germantown, Illinois to St. Louis. We were going for a tryout with the St. Louis Cardinals. I never thought that milk tr uh, truck ride would eventually lead to Cooperstown and then baseball's highest honor. But the luckiest break for me was when I became Stan Musial's roommate. We had great games and good times together. Stan and Lil are dear friends, and I'm glad, once again, we will be roommates here in the Hall of Fame. <laughs> Baseball has given me recognition throughout the world, and now it is rewarding me with this greatest honor of being inducted in the Hall of Fame. I guess I've crossed home plate. Thank you, Veterans Committee. But I would like to share one little with you, Mary's favorite quotes, and mine too. In the midst of winter, I finally learned that there was within me an invincible summer. I am humbly grateful. God has truly blessed us, my family and me. We give you our heartfelt thanks. Thank you. What's 212? Hello. Uh, hello, may I speak with uh, Ozzie Smith, please? Ozzie Smith speaking. Ozzie, Jack O'Connell with the Baseball Writers in New York. Hi, Jack. I'm very happy to tell you you've been elected to the Hall of Fame. Well, thank you. Congratulations. Thank you very much. We got uh, 472 ballots uh, returned, and you were on almost 92%, 433 uh, votes. Um, uh, you'll be the only one going, Gary Carter, missed by, uh, by 11. And uh, we're very happy for you. Congratulations. Thank you very much. This is tough. I'll make it. Before I begin today, let me take the time to express my deep and sincere gratitude to all of the people here at the Hall of Fame, my fellow players and coaches here, the sports writers, and all the media representatives. But I especially would like to thank the San Diego Padre organization and the St. Louis Cardinal organization for allowing me to do what I truly love doing. Thank you from the bottom of my heart.